all of you can see it, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to start like the presentation of my um, say research project. It is called Animated Series, an innovative resource that fosters listening skills and values in the EFO classroom. So, um, well, uh, this is a research project that took place in Bogota, Colombia, in a school. Yes, I'm going to not. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so I was, sorry. Okay, so I was saying that uh, this uh, research project took place in Bogota, Colombia, in a neighborhood called Patio Unito. And, uh, well, I'm going to start uh, talking about the project, yes? If you have any comments or questions, you can let me know, and I'm going to uh, solve them uh, when I can. So to base this research project, there was, of course, a diagnosis. Uh, this uh, project um, had like a very specific population. They were uh, fifth graders, uh, primary students, and after applying the diagnosis, we noticed uh, or it was noticeable, let's say, that um, the students have like a lack of development in the listening skill. Why? Because they were not able to understand the teacher in English. They were not able to, uh, let's say, communicate with the teacher, That's, which is very, very important when we are learning um, not only in English, but any language. Okay, so, um, they had, of course, attention spans and no participation due to the fact that they couldn't understand the teacher. Okay, so uh, that was like, uh, let's say, the main issue or the main uh, weakness that we found in the students. Of course, to find uh, this problematic in the, let's say, in the in the students, we used like field notes, surveys, and interviews in order to triangulate the information and make it like a reliable issue to work on. Uh, well, a, let's say like the justification of the students uh, start from the fact that a listening is a vital skill for language learning, yes. Uh, but a, they have to be, they have to be aware that they can listen. Yes, this is the different the differentiation that we have to do between listening and hearing, because we can hear. Yes, that's like the same in native ability that most of us have. But when we have to listen, we have to have the intention, and they have to have the intention to listen to their partners, to the students, uh, to the classmates. Sorry, and yes, exactly. Yes, so. Um, let's say by taking into account this, this problematic, uh, we decided to work on that. Okay, and well, what was the research question of this uh, research investigation? What is the impact you, uh, of using a set of uh, activities based on animated series with social content to develop situated listening skills in fifth graders at Hernando and the San School? That was the name of the school in which we work. Uh, like basically with the project. Now, the objectives, pretty simple, to describe the role of a set of activities based on animated series in the development of situated listening skills in EFL and to characterize the values that can be promoted through the use of animated series as a, as a pedagogical tool in the EFL classroom, okay? So, of course, in this type of research, the action uh, research type, we have to have a theoretical framework. What is, uh, or what were, sorry, the theoretical constructs that we have? Pretty simple, the animated series as a pedagogical tool, promoting values in the effort classroom and situated listening, okay? So of course, what is the definition of the animated series as a pedagogical tool? Well, an animated series is, well, a series uh, that we use or that we watch uh, in our daily uh, life to have fun, to feel relaxed, to feel motivated, to laugh, 
Yeah. In this case, in, um, in our project, as you are going to see, right, uh, in some moments, uh, we used uh, three uh, different animated series. The first one was um, the Fairly Odd Parents. The second one was Gravity Falls, and the third one was Phineas and Ferb. Of course, if you want, uh, let's say, uh, the project to be relatable, in the diagnosis, we gave the possibility to the students to select the animated series that they wanted to work with. Okay, so uh, after analyzing the information and, and all of these, these were the three series that we were done. Okay, very good. So, um, what is an animated series? Again, I I just say that like a series that we used to have fun, to feel relaxed, to feel happy. Yes. Uh, and why is this a pedagogical tool? That's also um, because of the environment, the educational environment that we uh, that we apply in the animated series, which was of course a classroom, and that gave him. Uh, gave them like the essence to be a pedagogical tool because they were they were being used in the classroom. Okay, now promoting values in the EFO classroom. Yes, a value is pretty simple. Value is what makes me, uh, let's say, transcend. Yes, we are humans, of course, but there is an important part in in the definition of a human being. I mean, the possibility to be a person, the possibility to develop values. Yes, yeah? that is something that uh, animals, for example, cannot develop. They cannot develop values as we have the possibility to do as human beings. So that's a value, something that makes us transcend, to make us develop ourselves more. Okay, and. Um, yeah, they were uh, they were developed through the content of the animated series. They were developed through the content of it. Uh, well, we are going to see that in, in a moment. And situated listening. What is what is listening? Again, I explained like the, the intention that we have to listen to my classmate, to my mom, to my father, to and they have the intention to do it. That is listening. It's an active process that I have. And why, why it is situated? Because it is meaningful for me, yes? And in the classroom, it was meaningful, why? Because of the values and the content that the students were listening to and watching in the, uh, in the classroom while becoming familiar or learning English, okay? So that's the definition of the three main concepts that we have in, um, in this research proposal, okay? So, um, of course, we have to have a methodological design. This is, this is a, quali a qualitative study. Why? Because it implies like the interaction, uh, the feelings, the intentions, uh, the opinions of the, of the population that was part of the study. And it is an action research project uh, because we are reflecting, we are planning, and we are implementing. Reflecting on what? Reflecting on the issue that we uh, are developing. We are planning what? Like the pedagogical intervention to improve the skill of the students and implementing, of course, the workshops and the different activities that we plan so that the students can uh, develop their skill and feel that they are learning the language. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, the data collection, okay. So uh, in order to apply triangulation to give the, the research reliability and validity, we use the surveys, the artifacts, the field notes, and the interviews, okay? Uh, in this case, it is important to say that the animator series were, um, let's say, like the most important source that we use, the most important ICT source that we use to innovate in the classroom and to give our, uh, our research project a, uh, a let's say, validity and uh, reliability, yes? And it was the ICT, uh, the ICT uh, resource, the animated series, which, uh, actually empower the ability of the students to understand and to develop their listening uh, skills, okay? Uh, 
Oh, now we are going to talk about the most important part in here, which is the pedagogic, the pedagogical intervention. What well, was like the, the intention that we have, of course, uh, enhance the listening skills, improve the listening skills. Okay, uh, we were uh, considering one of the of the roots of the main problem, which was the attention and response when they were when they watch something that they feel identified with something that they were able to choose to learn the language, the attention parts were going to decrease. And of course, we had to make it like a situated listening experience. So how uh, could we do that? Of course, through the content of values. In this case, we had, um, sorry, give me a second. In this case, we had three cycles of intervention. Um, cycle number one, which is like based on the first anime series, which was which was the fairly odd pairing, which is titled "Hey Kids, Let's Meet the Hurricanes of Emotions." Uh, the second cycle, based on Phineas and Fur, was um, was titled "Hey, Do You Know the Gratitude Angel?" Talking about the values all, all the time we are talking about uh, values here, and the cycle number three, which was. Uh, based on gravity force, uh, friends can also be family. Okay, so all the time we are uh, making this a situated listening experience and innovative through the content, the values content that we are uh, transmitting or showing through the ICT uh, technological resource, which is the animated series. Okay, so in the first uh, cycle of intervention, Basically, the students became familiar not only with the content of the fairly opening chapter, which was the well, the emotion commotion, that's the title, in which the main character learned the importance of feeling, the importance of being human, the importance of feeling sad, of feeling in love, of feeling um, scared. Yes, that's something that made us like. Um, uh, human beings, and this was the, like the first value that they, the students develop in this case. Okay, uh, of course, in, in order to develop the, the listening skills, the first thing that the students uh, did was to become familiar with the vocabulary that they uh, were going to see in the animated chapter, and, and the while listening activity was like a sequence of images that they organize in order to see if they uh, develop their listening or if they understood better the animated series and the, and the post listening task was a situated task in which way they were able to uh, illustrate what they understood um, when they understood from the animated series and how they were able to connect it with their lives. Okay. In the second um, in the second cycle of intervention, we use a chapter uh, of the beloved series uh, Phineas and Fur. Uh, it is basically a chapter in which the kids are very uh, grateful with their mom and they celebrate their, uh, her birthday and they give her thanks just for being there for me, like the best mom. And yes, um, again, the students became familiar with the vocabulary that they were going to to, to find in the animated series. The wild listening activity was basically a multiple choice workshop that they, um, that they saw in order to well to select uh, based on their memory what they could see in the animated series and in here the situated listening um, activity was like one of the most significant ones because the students created some posters for the head English teacher of of, of the school give him uh, like give him uh, thanks and uh, being grateful to him for all uh, the knowledge that he had and how he was like one of the best teachers for them. Uh, so it was like one of the most significant activities for them. And um, in the cycle number three, which was also 
one of the most significant ones uh, was uh, developed through the animated sitcom Gravity Falls or the animated series Gravity Falls. And in here, the students learned that there are other types of families, especially the one that you can build with your friends, okay? And in this case, uh, the square listening, the, sorry, the listening activity uh, was kind of challenging because they had to organize the subtitles of the, um, of the animated series and they had to give them like the right sequence. And it was pretty challenging for them, but they were working together. They were working as a team and they could do it. And that was like pretty nice to do. And um, in, this, uh, in this part, the, uh, the post-listening task was also pretty, uh, pretty nice because they were creating like some videos uh, being grateful with their friends and with their family just because they wanted uh, to show them that they love them. So it was like a pretty nice activity. This is in relation to the pedagogical intervention that we created in order to make like the, um, the listening experience of the students and the learning process very significant for them, okay? Now, in relation to the categories of analysis, I'm just going to say that uh, there were like three main categories and there are uh, some subcategories, but we are going to, to talk about that like in a second. Okay, so um, the first uh, the first category, the supportive role of animated series when enhancing listening skills in EFL. Okay, so uh, in this category, we are going to explain the, uh, the findings that we found Yes, or the results that we found better in relation to in relation to uh, the three listening levels that the students develop thanks to the ICT resource. In this case, again, the animated series. Okay, so uh, the first one was the uh, responsive listening level. The students basically develop this, uh, this uh, listening level because they were able to remember, yes, they were able to remember the sequence of events, they were able to organize them and they were able to, uh, let's say, uh, help the sequence of, of images have sense, okay, or make sense better. So of course at the beginning it was not it was not easy for them to do it, but again, they were not doing it alone. They were doing it with their families, they were always socializing what they were uh, finding uh, in relation to the images. They were always discussing with the help of the teachers and the head of the classmates, and always this is one also one of the values that was developed all the time during the, the pedagogical intervention I was the teamwork, okay? Because sometimes we cannot do uh, things alone in life. We need the support of others. And we as human beings, again, need to understand that. So yeah, this is in relation to the um, uh, first listening level, the responsive listening level that the students um, develop. Now, uh, in relation to the selective listening level, uh, which was the multiple choice activity, pretty, pretty uh, simple. Well, in this case, the students were working uh, individually, but because uh, what they had to do was like to remember some small parts, that is why it is selective of the chapter, and, uh, and they just had to, to know if it is like correct or not, uh, most of them do, did it like pretty well. They were able to say, okay, this happened in the chapter and this didn't happen. That's why, of course, we have to be pretty communicative and to be like pretty selective also with the phrases and how the test was constructed because the idea was not to frustrate the students. That's never like the idea that we have when we are teachers. The idea is to encourage them. The idea is to, to show them that they can do it, that they are like the best. And yeah, of course they did. And uh, the last one, again, the most difficult one, the, the expensive listening level, because they had 
not only to remember the image, but they had also to remember the complete phrases that were that they were seeing in the subtitles, that they were seeing through the through the ICT resource that they will see through the animated series. And again, we are going back to teamwork and Mm, yeah, they did it again. It was difficult for some of them. They were like, teacher, no, I cannot do this. Yes, you can. Just try to remember, try to talk to your partner, feel it's okay. And uh, they were they were really also um, try to connect in the content, especially with the chapter. There was, I remember that there was an issue between two friends in the in the in the grade in which in which I was and uh, they were really happy after they saw the chapter because they solved the problem that they had and they became friends again. So again, it is not only about English, it's about the real life and we can do um, the things that we can do with the IC2 resource uh, that we are going to apply and the activities that we create uh, through that uh, IC2 resource. So yeah, it is wonderful what we can do. And now, uh, there's a category number two, the reflexive roles of images and, vi and videos when understanding animated series. This was like pretty nice. Uh, the students were the ones who selected the animated series that they were going to watch. The students uh, felt happy because the, the, the ICT resource was like uh, pretty colorful. Uh, they had fun, they were watching series situations that they could feel identified with. And that make, of course, a, a, the video uh, has, has a, a reflexive role because they were able to see that uh, because of the colors and the images, they were able to understand the situation. So this helped us like to, to, to develop the listening skill in a, um, in a easier in an easier way let's say and uh, now we're going to go with uh, the uh, second category which is like um, the personal experiences that the students um, develop that the students develop through the use of the values through the use of the values i don't know what happened here something is missing but okay yes Basically, the first, uh, the first uh, subcategory in this case is raising awareness about my feelings and otherness while having fun with animated series. Yes, in the first chapter that the students watched, they uh, saw how the main character was not able to feel, uh, didn't want to feel, didn't want to feel ignored, didn't want to fall in love, didn't want to, uh, to feel embarrassment. Yes, and he wishes not to feel, okay? Now, uh, by the end of the chapter, uh, basically he has his emotions back and the students understood that it is important not only to have my own feelings, but it is important also uh, to understand that with my words, that with my action, I can feel, I can make other person feel bad. Yes, and that's, that's how we develop like the otherness in the students by, by having like the, the opportunity to show them that um, as human beings, I am not the only one who feels, yes, but I can make other, other person feels, okay? Um, yes, in the screen, you, just, you can see like some fragments of the, of the field notes and the videos uh, that the students watch in relation to this. Let's continue with the subcategory uh, sub number two, expressing my gratefulness to others using animated series. Basically, this is one of the, of the posters that the students created for the English teacher at the time, uh, giving him like thanks and being grateful to him. And yes, basically showing them that they were like uh, very happy with their classes, yes? And this is a fragment 
of a video that one student record give him time sight to the family, to the mom, because this student had like a very difficult situation in her family. But with the use of the animated series, she understood that family can be one of the most uh, wonderful things that we can have. And yeah, but that's basically that. And the subcategory sub number three uh, is related to discovering the importance of having friends in my life, enjoying animated series. Okay, uh, this is a fragment of one activity that the students did uh, before watching the animated, the third animated series. And it is related, of course, to. Um, and it is related, of course, to the importance of um, of um, to the importance of knowing what, what is around me. Okay, and I think I'm, I I have to rush a little bit, but yeah, okay. And in the, in relation to the last category, what we have to do is uh, to understand that uh, this pedagogical tool or this ICT resource not only helps the students develop the listening skills, but also uh, they were, while recording the videos and, and writing the, the answers for the interviews and all the activities, they were also developing the writing and the speaking, but this, uh, skills were developed in the, um, in the first stages. Basically, the whole conclusion of this uh, pedagogical intervention was that the students uh, could, that the students could um, develop not only their listening skills, but they could also uh, develop uh, the importance of understand that having values such as otherness, friendship, teamwork is going to make their learning process like a fun path and fun, a fun way. And this happened, of course, through the content of the ICT resource, which, which was the animated series. So thank you, thank you so much for, um, for your attention in this, in this presentation. And if you have questions, I'll be more than happy to assist you and to answer them, of course.